M4, as you see her on the page. It's a rather near globular cluster. It's about 6,000 to 10,000 light years from Earth. But without a large telescope, it will be near impossible to get a picture of it with a camera. Wait a minute. I got this with my camera. But why would they say that? Why would they tell us that we can't get these clusters and nebulas with our cameras? I got this during the month of July. The photo's been sitting in my computer. I just opened it up, processed it, and voila. It's just an authentic view of what it looks like if we were traveling in a spaceship through the constellation of Scorpius. We will see the OPC nebula, top left. We will see Al Nayat. We will see M4 and several other um, deep sky messy objects. We have Scorpius 1, 2, 3, and 4, and Scorpius. We have zero Scorpius. We have all the stars here in the constellation of Scorpius. Not all the stars, but all the stars that are in here on this diagram. How well you'll see it on here always a bit darker than in real life but in real time uh, this is the original photo before adding anything on it that i got with my fujifilm hs50 exr 1000 millimeter lens camera not too bad we're able to get even more color and enough to get the nebulas and star clusters here close enough to be able to recognize them and to know what they look like and what i do afterwards is i go and compare online with professionals that are getting these photos and you know what i don't know where to look because i don't find any i also looked up online where to buy art like this and you just don't, don't find know. any maybe i'll start selling some so these beautiful look at them all the ones that i showed you at the beginning of the video on the side here one two three four five six seven eight down here it's so thick the star cluster it looks like a piece of land it's amazing star clusters over here over here you're not even seeing the entire photo it's amazing let's move over here a bit see that apparent maybe a little line here that i got here a little bit in the photo by editing it uh, here you can see it a little bit of a line there but these are authentic maybe what's at the back i can't see but now <laughs> to recognize the planets and stars when i'm when people are asking me where exactly did you get that unknown planet it was in scorpius most of them are in scorpius that i know now but in these clusters i mean how do you locate an exact star that's in a cluster that no one exposes on television or in media and anything i mean this is it's like having all the answers in front of us but it's like it's like getting laughed at it's like here good luck Try to find some reasoning in this and what's going on. I mean, the whole thing is there. I mean, it's just incredible. This fiery area here. This is the constellation of Scorpius. These are my personal photos I wanted to share with you. Top left of the photo is um, the constellation of Ophiuchus, which is home of the OPC Nebula. And you could see Al Nyat on the left, red burning its gas enormously and uh, the M4 underneath, and also the stellar bar that is on the bottom left, which is not an error in the photo. Um, I do have two bars on the right, but this is a real stellar bar. Look it up, it's being studied. In the Northern Hemisphere, Scorpius lies close to the Southern Horizon. In the Southern Hemisphere, it lies high in the sky near the center of the Milky Way. So while on vacation this summer, this is an overhead view from here in Quebec, Canada, my home, from my pool deck, beside my pool deck, of course, because I didn't want to get any shake, directly overhead, looking up to the Milky Way. I use, don't forget, I, just, I have to always, uh, I never think of mentioning it. This shot was 1,200, uh, 12,800 ISO, 12,800 ISO. It depends on how much light you need. If it wasn't a clear enough night, I used more light. If it's a clear night, I'm usually playing always between 1800 and 3200 ISO. My aperture f-stop 
I play between four and seven all the time. So we're seeing these heavy, dense gases here that are forming. And of course, each gas, each color here is recognizable. You can study it and find out which gases are there. So over here, my friends, we're looking at NGC 6144, right there. It's a globular star cluster in the constellation of Scorpius. Here you're looking at Al Nayat. If you want to get an idea of what it looks like, go on Wikipedia and they have a picture of it about this far. And look at the detail in that. All these clusters that are here. One, two, three, four, five. M4 over here. This is M4. Another cluster down here. Over here is the OPC cluster. OPC Nebula. Isn't it beautiful? My next video will go see the OPC Nebula up close because I was lucky enough to get a shot of this as big as this entire Al Nayat here, Al Nayat is being reflected by the surrounding dust. Also, I want you guys to know that uh, we are looking at an area here that is 550 light years from Earth. The stars at the back that we are seeing here which I have some of the names of them are 10,000 light years away and we can also still see them pretty bright. Um, this constellation and where these star clusters are, um, apparently it is the brightest one that we can see here from Earth with the naked eye. But of course we're not going to see this, these, we're going to see the stars though. Uh, Antares I believe is the brightest star.